welcome to the Women to Win Spotlight of the Week. This week's spotlight is on Margot James, the MP for Stourbridge, first elected in 2010. Margot is also the Minister for Small Business. Enjoy the video. What did you do before you became an MP? Before I became an MP, I ran my own business, which I started in the 80s, and it was a public relations and healthcare education company. Most of our clients were pharmaceutical businesses, and we grew from a very small start uh, to employing over, over 100 people in the end, and we sold our company to a large multinational called WPP, and I ended up um, working for them. And that was what I was doing um, when I stood first for Parliament in 2005. And what made you decide to stand for Parliament? I grew up during the 1970s and my father started out as a coal haulier. Um, we come from Coventry and he had a business that he built up from absolutely nothing. He left school at 14. And in those days, um, the trade unions had an excessive amount of power and they used it in a very irresponsible way. And my father really was nearly put out of business by them. Um, he survived and he, did, he continued to do well, but it was a very, very difficult time. And that was at a time when the whole of the British economy was in a very, very bad way. And uh, I got very politically motivated in those days and I took politics A-level and I studied um, politics and economics at university. So I was very interested and then I was also very inspired, as I think a lot of us were um, of my generation, by Margaret Thatcher. Um, not just because she was a woman and the first uh, woman to ever become leader of a political party in this country, let alone Prime Minister, but also because she changed so much um, and she really did put Britain you know, back in business. And what stopped you from going to politics straight away? Why did you do it as a second career? The truth is I would probably have gone straight from university to try to get a job in Conservative Party headquarters uh, and, you know, come up the political route and, uh, route and get into Westminster that way. But uh, at the time, um, it was quite impossible for anyone in a same-sex relationship to be um, adopted as a candidate to stand for election, not just by the Conservative Party, but by any major political party. Uh, you know, going back to the 80s, it, it, just, wasn't, um, it just wasn't possible. Um, but times changed, thank God, and when I came to sell my business, it was a very different time, and I decided to put myself forward. And so how did your political journey start once you'd sold your business? Once I'd sold my business, I thought, well, I do have some time now. Although I was still working for the new owners, I did have time. And I saw an article um, in The Telegraph written by the then um, chair vice chairman of the party for candidates, Baroness Trish Morris. Um, who was talking about how the Conservative Party was changing, welcoming people from different walks of life, indeed embracing change and diversity. And I thought, I'm going to have a go. And I, I uh, contacted uh, Trish Morris and she gave me so much support and help. And Women to Win were a huge help to me. By, uh, around that time, I met Anne Jenkin, now Baroness Anne Jenkin, and, and she was a huge support to me, gave me so much confidence and really gave me the impression that I could do it. I could transfer the knowledge I gained from business into politics with the right support. And I got that support from Women to Win. Um, and I stood in a, what was basically a safe Labour seat. But I did learn a lot through that process and I enjoyed it. And then I got the nomination shortly after that um, to fight Stourbridge, which was much more marginal and much more winnable. And what would your advice be to women who might come from a slightly less typical political background or who might be coming into this as a second career? Well, as someone who doesn't have any political background, um, definitely came into it as a second career. And really, until I approached um, Baroness Morris, I had no political contacts at all. Um, I would say that you will have got lots of skills and experience which you can use in politics. That's not to say that there isn't a lot to learn. There is. But it is challenging and interesting, the learning process, and I enjoyed it very much. And I think, you know, have no hesitation in exploring the, um, the candidates list and 
um, seeing if you can get on. Uh, the party is really looking for people, not just with a political background. In fact, if you look at the candidates who were successfully um, elected in 2015 for the Conservative Party last year, I think I'm right in saying that only one of them had what you might call a classic political background. That, that would have been a figure like 30% 10 years ago, um, which is testimony to the fact that um, the Conservative Party is looking for people from all walks of life, all backgrounds, and we really have a, commi a commitment to diversity and an inclusive approach. So please do contact us.